a builder's home left in ruins. Daoud Daras was a simple man, trying to live a quiet life. Worked in Israel, lived in a refugee camp, never political. In August, two weeks before he killed an Israeli soldier at a checkpoint, guards beat him and left him disfigured. His brother said Dawood snapped. They kicked and beat him at a checkpoint. They pressed his head down on the hot asphalt of the road and it burnt his face. It seems he had a reaction and did what he did. Israeli soldiers entered the village in force late Monday night. The place three generations called home, gone in an instant. They're forbidden from clearing up inside, even the rubble claimed as the property of the Israeli state. This is the kind of collective punishment that Palestinians say Israel carries out at will across the occupied territories. Elsewhere in the world it would be unacceptable, barbaric even. But here it happens so frequently, it's become routine. Daoud's widow and six children are now homeless. The night, she says, went well because no one was hurt, seemingly unfazed. Shock or resilience, it is hard to tell. But even now, her attention is elsewhere. We can replace the stones, but we lost our pillar. I don't regret losing the house, it's over. We lost the house. The world knows this is injustice, but what's happening is nothing compared to what's happening in Gaza. Dawood's family lived on the first floor, so it was the only one Israeli soldiers blew up. Incomplete destruction. Calculated, cruel, left as a warning. Leaflets left behind that say, money can fix a house, but not a broken family. Zain Basravi Al Jazeera, Deir Amar refugee camp in the occupied West Bank. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.